when you first open the box, the magnetic parts are taped to the inside of the box for safety. Carefully remove each part from the box and keep them separated. Handle with care as the magnets are extremely strong. First, install the horn on the headset. Specific instructions for each headset are in the second half of this video. Grab a stable chair and put it in the center of your play space. Measure the total distance from the chair to the ceiling, across and down to the PC. Adjust to fit your cable length. Peel and firmly stick the first magnetic mount over the center of your play space. Stand on the chair and put the headset on it. Pull the cable tightly up to the magnetic mount and attach the first magnetic clip. Move the chair over next to your PC. Stand up and place the second magnetic mount over your PC. Grab the cable tightly up to the second magnetic mount. Then attach the second magnetic clip. Back over to the headset, clip one of the pulleys near the top and the other one near the middle of the cable. Adjust their positions so that the cable is not touching your head. Danglers also works on slanted ceilings and the magnetic mounts can be removed by pushing through with a knife. Unclip the cable from the headset. The two teeths on the horn must be pushed under the housing here for a secure fit. Peel and attach the horn with the teeth going in first. Route the cable into the horn groove. First, remove the face cover and the top head strap. Peel and hook the base drill onto the head strap bar. Press down the front end. Put the top strap through the buckle and reinsert the face cover. Slide the horn onto the rail and plug in the link cable. Route the link cable through the horn groove. First, unclip the cable from the headset. Then firmly attach the horn and route the cable inside. First, remove the face cover and the top strap. Peel the base rail and hook it into the head strap bar. Firmly stick the front end and insert the top strap through the slot. Reattach the facial cover. Slide the horn onto the base rail. Plug in the link cable and insert it into the horn. First, unclip the cable from the head strap. Then, peel and firmly attach the horn and route the cable inside the groove. Unclip the cables from the headset, peel and firmly attach the horn. Insert first the headphone cable, then the headset cable into the horn. First, unclip the cable from the head strap. It's a little bit more complicated on this one. Peel and firmly attach the horn on the halo strap. Then route the cable through the horn groove. Unclip the cable from the head strap. Peel and firmly attach the horn to the top of the headset. Route the cable through the horn. The cable cannot be unclipped from the Odyssey, so just attach the horn and route the cable inside the horn. First, remove the top strap, insert it through the bottom of the horn. Push the foot of the horn into the head strap pocket. Route the cable inside the horn. Unclip the cable from the head strap and attach the horn. Route the cable into their corresponding groove. The grooves are different sizes, so it's important to match them correctly. Unclip the cable, remove the face cover and the top strap. Peel the horn and hook it onto the head strap bar. Firmly stick the front end. Insert the top strap through the slot. Route the cable inside the horn and reattach the face cover.